Hi, I'm Yari Salama. I'm the uh, product manager for transaction security, and uh, I would like to demonstrate you how to build a new security policy uh, to prevent data export events for reports on the new Summer 16 from Salesforce. So let me log into my uh, Salesforce demo org uh, here and um, uh, navigate to the setup menu where from the quick find menu and when you have event monitoring on uh, you will find transaction security policies and um, I have quite a lot of policies here listed out uh, doing a lot of testings uh, in short you can create transaction security policies with a combination of uh, the UI and Apex code and uh, with the UI uh, you basically give the policy a name and you specify the different event uh, such as login or you know um, entity for chat messages or data export, uh, which we are now supporting not only API events, but also UI events, as well as then uh, access reports for reports and dashboards and connected apps. And uh, you, you define a specific action for the policy and then transaction security creates you an Apex template you can apply. If you created these already, or you look from the help for this page in the help and training section, you'll find a gallery of, uh, of uh, um, policy examples from Salesforce. Uh, for the demonstration purposes here, I already have one policy created uh, for report export block and uh, it is firing right now as you see a block action for a particular uh, 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 event type uh, which is the data export and resources uh, uh, under uh, accounts. And uh, now if we end the, the, the policy is turned on. So now if I um, go into reports, I have a demo report I'm trying to do uh, report export. Uh, this could be um, the user performing the report uh, uh, at a specific time. They sh uh, should not be doing, at, doing that. Uh, there may be a specific number of uh, data or number of rows uh, in, the, in the report that the user should not be able to perform. So with transaction security, this allows you to build these additional triggers and criteria into the transaction as it happens. So as you see, the operation um, uh, requested got blocked uh, due to this uh, security policy we implemented. Um, additionally, uh, you don't have to uh, apply block actions. You can actually then uh, specify from the variety of options to get in-app notifications, email notifications, um, or to simply observe or to bump up the, the session to a higher assurance. Maybe this is an internal admin, a sales user performing a very large data download and you want to ensure that this individual is um, doing what they're supposed to be doing. So now at the same time, if we go to the reports and we uh, perform the report export, uh, we are then seeing my two-factor authentication configured here with the Salesforce Authenticator uh, jump into my smartphone. And we can see that we have here on the phone access reports uh, coming from my demo account um, from my device and I have the option to deny or approve uh, this particular request. And uh, I choose to approve it and now my session is in higher assurance and I'm able now to export the, the report. And this concludes the demo. Please visit salesforcehacker.com for additional updates on event monitoring transaction security. Thanks.